doing a screen capture recording is is kind of like recording uh, leaving voicemail in that you're just talking to yourself but technology is making you not crazy because someone will, will hear it later uh, anyways I find it kind of difficult I've recorded this like one million times I'm just I got some orange juice uh, I'm not gonna worry about impressing anybody here I'm just I'm just gonna do it so here we go this is a technique I found that is I think really cool but I don't think I've ever seen it used and it's a way to turn images certain images into 3d versions of those images really quick and I'll just jump right into it I'm gonna make a composition using this image of a sky and I'm just going to uh, distort displacement map the image is going to be its own displacement map based on luminance and uh, we'll check out what happens ah oh. Oh, the sky looks like it's 3D. Oh, wow. Wow. When I when I first found this out, it, w it blew my mind, actually. I was like, I fell over on the floor and was like, no, no way. It was crazy. But I've become jaded over the years, and I'm no longer amazed by, by the same thing. Um, yeah, and it works It works for lots of them. Uh, actually, it only works for certain images, and I'll explain that kind in a in a second. Look at that. Now, obviously, with, with any displacement type, Distortion stuff, uh, you can run, if you push it too far, the fabric of reality breaks apart and it becomes super trippy and awesome. Um, so you don't want to do that, you know, just do a little bit, but there's still quite a bit of, of leeway. And you can scale scale it up and you don't see those edges or probably check, wrap pixels around and that does some stuff too. Um, so the reason, the reason this works is uh, basically has to do with you know, parallax and, and depth, depth maps and all that. Um, you know, when, uh, let's see, if you're walking, if you're walking along a field and trot, 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 the, the bushes very close to you will look like they're moving a lot faster compared to the mountains, which will look like they're completely staying still. And the moon, which, you know, stays even more still. Um, and that's called, that's called parallax. Stuff closer to you, uh, moves more with perspective shift when you move or, or something uh, you get what I'm saying you get what I'm saying so uh, which means that if you displace you know an image based on how close it is to you you are simulating parallax and we're getting that closeness information based off of the luminance of these certain images uh, I don't I don't know if I said that as awesome as it could be said but we're going with it because I think you get what I mean um, let's take this image see the the near areas are really dark it's it's mist misty morning images work really well for this type of thing and again it doesn't work all the time but when it does it's like cool and the background is like straight you know bright so we're gonna scale this up we're gonna do a displacement map here zero zero luminance luminance Hey, look at that. It looks like you're going down the river. And, uh, let's scale it up even more. Now, um, obviously with things like trees, there's nothing, there's no real information for what's behind occluded areas like, like trees. So you can see up here, if we slide it open too far, we just see, you know, that same image. It kind of falls apart. Um, which means images with less, uh, occlusion or you know whatever that's called simpler images tend to work a lot better like a, a basic room or anything um, leaves really are, are the nightmare uh, you can see like up here this stuff just goes crazy um, but let's take a look at a more you know practical example like let's say you were filming in a boat you know in front of a green screen or something want to simulate boating down the river uh, you probably you know just shoot it with a slightly shallower shallower Depth of field, I always have the shallow depth of field. What are, what are we saying? No, don't do it. You can. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, look at that. Now you have a lot more cheat space. In fact, the area up here that was like such a big problem area before, now it just looks like the leaves are blowing in the wind. That's so crazy. That's free production value from a glitch. That's oh, what is that? Re wrap the pixels around. Yeah, it's it just works. Um, now there's one more. Uh type thing you could run into which I think is this image yeah um, which is sometimes the the luminance isn't spread out 
the right way across the image. Um, and I'll show you what I mean in a second. If you displace this one, you will see that the uh, the difference between the, the mountains and the sky displacing is actually more than the distance of, you know, between the bushes and the mountains. And uh, that's just because the the luminance differences between these aren't as much as right here. And that is not probably what you want because remember it it decreases the difference in uh distance to displacement decreases exponentially or maybe it's linear I don't know what I'm saying um but anyways we can fix that by let's duplicate this and let's pre-compose it pre-compose okay and uh whoa it's what the let's go back over here and open that um we're going to apply a curve to this thing and with that curve, we will actually kind of sculpt the new luminance space. Uh, so this is now black, and we just want the background, you know, all kind of be more brighter. Maybe like that. Yeah, that's cool. Which means now most of the displacement is going to happen between here and, and here. So let me bring it down a little bit. Yeah, oh, that'll be good. Um, so go back to this other image. Set this uh, displacement map to be now that one. And let's scale this up a little bit so we don't get those wonky edges. And now look at that. It actually looks like you're kind of walking down, walking down a field. Um, so ob obviously kind of what happens is the, uh, the pixels above a certain brightness are move one way and the pixels below a certain brightness move the other way, which is why it looks like we're kind of orbiting the field. Um, and you can cancel that out if you want. Like say you have a little quick animation here that's like... Uh, and then you can keyframe the position here of and now see that now it's uh, the foreground moves a lot more in the background and you have actual kind of parallax and obviously that looks that looks kind of horrible but um but just kind of showing you the potential of what could be done oh look now it's blurred it looks great um it looks stupid ah uh, so that was seven minutes of your life if, if you didn't skim it um have have i hope the rest of it is is good